All right, welcome back to Greg's Maker Corner. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the unboxing of the Raven Mech Voron V0.05 slash 0.1 kit. Um, and I'll, I'll explain what that means here in a minute as far as the, the number scheme. Overall, this is a great kit and I definitely recommend it. I don't know how long these kits are gonna be available, so I would encourage you to jump on one as soon as possible if you can. Um, one thing that I'll mention before I go into the unboxing is that I found Raven Mech through the Voron Discord. There's a lot of helpful uh, resources in there, and he's one of the very few vendors that actually offers kits in the U.S. Okay, so you can kind of see here, the first thing that I pulled out was the paperwork, and um, he's, you know, it looks like he went through a checklist, probably making sure that everything is in there. All right, so it's uh, so far so good. It's nice and organized um, fasteners. So I imagine these are like the, a lot of the M3 screws and things. Um, this appears to be the build plate. So you can really see how small that is. It's uh, one, 120 millimeters. Um, this, this is the actual MI6 uh, plate. And then that just, I believe, goes on top. And we've got a XY motor. And I know on, on my particular kit, um, these are actually the same as the Voron Zero motors, but the new kit, um, or the new the new Voron Zero One has slightly beefier, but um, that's gonna be something that you're gonna wanna look at. All right, the big tree tech, this is the SKR Mini E3 V2. And this, I believe, is the power supply. Yep, LRS 100. 100 um, that's another difference. So this is still, I'm going to be using an AC bed, um, whereas the technically the point .1 uses a DC bed now, but I, I actually prefer AC beds. Here's a power cord. Here's a cable chain, it looks like. Wow, that's a pretty long one. And we've got, let's see. Oh, there's the frame kit. So I picked purple. Um, I thought that would be kind of cool. Oh, wow. Check that out. And you really see how small this thing is. These are really small extrusions. And then there are the LDO uh, motors. Uh, then we've got an M-Box. Not entirely sure what's in there. Maybe something related to the motors. E-Box. Not entirely sure what's in there. Yeah, it looks like basically all the panels. And then we've also got the rails. Wow, this thing's again so small compared to what I'm used to. So, one, two, three, four, five, five of them. And then we've got, I believe that's the integrated, maybe the motor with the lead screw, yep. So, cool. Said he was gonna ship later, but this is the majority of it, so really looking forward to this build. Okay, I went ahead and opened the E-Box and it appears to be E for electronics. So there's all kinds of, um, connectors and things, Molex connectors. It looks like there's a fuse. There's also, um, it looks like a heater cartridge and a thermistor, which is cool. Wasn't anticipating that. Um, there's the uh, thermal protection fuse. Here is some uh, more connectors, like for making your cables. Um, some of these forked uh, spade connectors. Looks like a little SSR maybe for the um, AC bed and looks like some switches and of course the fans a um, couple other things in here not exactly sure what that is and then there's some looks like some tape for the heated bed and maybe a 5 volt uh, I don't know, some kind of regulator maybe. 12 volt, 24 volt, 5 volt, yeah, I don't know for sure. Okay, the M-Box, um, it's got the SD card, 64 gigs, it's more than enough. Some springs, um, I think those are the rubber feet. Oh, and then we got the Raspberry Pi 4 with two gig of RAM, that's nice. There's a belt, GT2 belt, we got some bearings, um, looks like, Basically the bond tech parts here, and oh, that's your, I believe the 
um, lead screw backlash, anti-backlash nut. That would be the um, idlers pulleys, and then uh, oh, that's the uh, the uh, motor for the uh, drift drive extruder, and then some wires. Yeah, the actual heated bed there. Hopefully, you can see that. The Raven Mech kit was actually put together from a lot of vendors in the community. Um, I'm going to list all those in the description of the video just so you can see it, but. Um, definitely really appreciate that, you know, there are so many great vendors that are able to help put this kit together and offer these uh, quality components.